<laughs> Here is one actually really weird conspiracy. All right. Historical fact that we make conspiracies about. So did you know that in ancient Egypt, there was one ruler who changed their entire polytheistic religion into monotheism? Mm. And then they studied um, like a saucer that came down from the sky. Well, there's definitely been weird things yeah. about alien stuff with the ancient world. Like there's drawings from ancient Egypt that look very modern. Mm -hmm. compared to what the rest of the structure was of that world. It's well, really interesting. 100%. And so this one guy changed everything. He's like, all right, we're all going to worship this sun god, but not Ra, this like disc sun god. And he changed all of Egypt to a monotheistic wow. religion. So all of the old gods were moved out of the equation and it was a focus on this. I miss like the days of people worshiping Thor and stuff. Like, that must have been quite a fun time. You know, so one of my favorite TV shows just came out with a sequel on Netflix. Which one? Vikings is one of my favorite shows. Oh, and they just remade that. a new season on Netflix, not oh, History Channel. Cool. It's called Valhalla, but it's is written. Is it good? You know, like, do I need to watch Vikings to watch Valhalla, or can I just pick up? Okay, in my opinion, Vikings is a million times better. Okay, but this is season one, right? So they're like relaunching a whole showrunner. It's yeah. not. It's not on History. Is it the Channel. same cast? It's the same writer, Michael Hurst, who wrote oh, these he books. Wrote the, yeah, he's great. He wrote he's he amazing. part of the Tudors, too. Yep. Yeah, yeah. he does a lot of like historical lane. I really want to work with him. Mm -hmm. like, I love Me that too. kind of show. Me too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's amazing. So, you know, it's the Netflix version of that. So they're kind of like relaunching it. They use a lot of the same sets, um, cool. same locations and stuff. And it's maybe 100 years later. But it just it just hits different. Yeah. You know, and it's not it's a little bit cheaper. Okay. You know, like the opening to Vikings was one of the greatest things. Like, yeah. if I had a heart, I would not be you. You know, and it's like roaring oceans. If I don't, if I don't, after yeah, I'm the this. night when I wake up. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what you're saying. Oh, but come I'm on. You know, the, it. You know the opening great. to Vikings. No, stop tapping your foot, my friend. It's, Why? It's very loud in the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I do love, did you ever watch Black Sails? Yes. So oh. such an underrated show. You know how hard it is to make a sea show? Do you know how- um, Crazy. So that show is, Marvin is fantastic. It's on stars. It only has four seasons. They wrapped up real fast. Yeah. The first season, eh, not good. But the writing as they got into their stream is yeah. some of the best writing I've seen on television. I agree. Like it, the show wrapped up amazingly beautifully set the first like i try and get people into it and i was like the first episode's stupid because they yep. really tried in the first like half first season to get a following and it was very much like how much nudity can we throw in like let's throw in a lot of sex let's throw in a lot of this to try and get people into it but once you get past that amazing show and so all acted and the intro they use a real hurdy-gurdy yeah it's so good it's so good and, and that yeah. whole opening too. Do you know who oh, you know who beautiful. made the music to that? Bear yeah, McCreary. Ben McCreary, who does Outlander, yeah. who's my, my favorite show. And yeah. the people who did the opening graphics are the same that did the opening graphics for Westworld. Really? Yeah, you know okay. that whole kind of like uh, I've never seen Westworld, but I probably should. And the crown. Yeah. It's a similar style, style. right? Where same it's with like, um it looks very similar to the one they did for the Medici show as well. Oh, I that? love that show. Yeah, yeah. That opening with the music. That was a cult oh. phenomenon. That was good. You know, yeah. like people don't give that the credit it's due. And yeah, also the third one. season, where was it? Ew, yeah. After Sean Bean, it kind of fell apart. Yeah, there was only another one. I think it was Medici the Magnificent. Mm -hmm. it, was, uh, it was, yeah, it was the great and the magnificent. It was good though. That actor, where is he? He's phenomenal. Yeah. Which one? Richard Madden? No. Wait, did he take yeah, it over? Yeah, Richard Madden was Medici in episode season one. And then, am I thinking? No, I'm thinking of Florence. I'm Masters thinking of Florence. Masters of Florence. There's, there's, there's Medici the Magnificent. Wait, no, that is the same. Yeah, isn't it? there's Medici Masters of Florence. So did they change the actor? They might have. They might have changed the actor the second season because the Medici main yeah, actor. Yeah, because he, he got older. They oh, wow. the Richard Madden's like I'm out. Yeah, well, I think he was doing other stuff like the. Yeah, he probably got Game and, of Thrones. No, this is post Game of Thrones. Oh, this is post. Yeah, he did that, and then he did the Bodyguard, which was really big in the UK. Whoa, we got to talk about the Bodyguard. I've never seen it. I've heard it's really oh good, and I haven't. The seen The new Twenty Four. I've heard <gasps> it's amazing. You haven't seen it? No. It's better than Twenty Four. I've heard it's really that good. That first, yes, it is. It's way better. You Marvin's like nothing's better than Twenty Four. But Twenty Four went off the rails, so I guess it's I never kind of an unfair comparison, either. right? Really? That's why I hear. Everyone it, says it's so good. It was the so first good. like counterterrorism show, and it was the first show that sacrificed main characters, like oh, what Game that. of Thrones did. Like Game of Thrones is yeah. ruthless, and Huge. I love that because then you know no one's safe. 
you know? That's the thing. It was the biggest plot twist in TV ever Wow. at the end of season one. And so here's what they did, right? You know the guy who does um, all state commercials? Yeah. Okay, so he's the president, right? Okay. And it takes in 24 hours. So wow. It's, so every time an episode starts, it'd be like, ding, 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 ding. With okay, a clock. Okay, I should watch it then, yeah. So they map everything that happens within a 24-hour time period. But it's all by clock. So each episode is an hour of that 24-hour cool. clock. That's really and so cool. they're like constantly in a race of time to, to, to like save America from blowing up and shit. Yeah. You know? God, it was so good, right? Back when... Amazing show. Back when procedural dramas mattered. Yeah. 